Hello. Today I will be teaching you how to create, delete, shrink, and extend partitions on your hard drive. Now, let me explain to you what partitions are. Partitions help your computer better recognize everything on your hard drive faster. Let's say if you have like thousands of songs, thousands of pictures or whatever, instead of just putting those in the picture folder or music folder, you're better off creating another partition so it doesn't slow down your computer in the long run because once you fill up your hard drive, it's going to go slower. So, um, you know, if you keep the system files and, um, you know, just programs and stuff on one, actually even programs you should put on another partition, but that's only if you have, like, a lot of them. But let's say, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it, when you create partitions on your hard drive, let's say your hard drive crashes or like a, your hard drive fails if you take it to a place they might be able to recover it you just have a better chance of it because it's on another partition like another portion of the hard drive so um... anyway it helps your computer run faster like it takes a lot of the strain off the uh... it just makes it easier i don't know <laughs> exactly how it does it i wish i did but um... i know that it uh... makes it go faster because i've noticed this myself i'll even show you I have HPC. That's where all my system files are, and there's some stuff on there. Recovery D, those are my recovery files, because I don't have a recovery disk. And right here is where I put most of my stuff at. Ooh, Skyflight. Yeah. Anyway, um... don't know what that is. Hold on, let me get rid of that. Anyway, as you see, I have my computer in partitions, and my computer is very fast still. I had this for, all, like, about a half a year now, and, uh... You know, still works like new. So, when I, first of all, what you got to do is click on your start button. Right click on computer and then click manage. If you have Windows XP, um, what you will have to do is you have to run um, you have to run disk management. So, what you would type in into the run command on Windows XP or before is disk mg I don't know if it's nt or uh yeah disk mgmt dot msc and then the same window comes up and it says connecting the virtual disk service that's what you do on Windows XP and before where you have the run command now I have I'm personally running Windows 7 and I have the run command because I added that to my start menu and I made a video a couple weeks ago explaining how to do that on Windows Vista and Windows 7 I can't get into all that right now because it's going to take up some time but anyway what you want to do this is just an example on HPF in order to create new partitions you gotta have free space and as you see my whole hard drive is taken up by partitions I can still put stuff on it obviously but the partitions you can't do that so Let's shrink this by, hold on a second, let's shrink it by 200 megabytes. Not really enough for anything, but shrink it. And then as you see, now I have free space. I can do whatever I want with this. So what you do is you right click on the green, or anything that's green, and you click new simple volume, and then this window will show up. So yes, I want it to be 200 megabytes. And you can assign it any drive letter you want to, A through Z. Except you can't do C and the drives you already have, obviously. But I'm going to make this W. And um, next, and you can select the file system. I personally think that NTFS is the best. And you can name it whatever you want to. Let's name it Test Volume. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And um, then you... I don't know about you, but I'm just going to perform a quick format. I don't know really the difference between the full format and the quick format. It does basically the same thing. So, Anyway, the allocation size, I'm not sure exactly what that does either. So you just click Next, and then Finish. And then as you see right here, it should say Formatting, but it shouldn't take long because it's only 200 megabytes. So, um, Okay, it's already done. Now it says there's a new drive available. Test volume W. So then you open that and then as you
you see it says this folder is empty and up here it says computer test volume W it's right over here now um, I hope you can understand what I'm saying I'm using a pair of earbuds as a microphone yeah I know uh, sort of a little budget problem over here but uh anyway it says there's only 180 megabytes left because 20 megabytes is taken up the formatting so anyway let's say you wanted to delete a volume what you want to do is right click you don't want to delete your operating system hold on a second I can't move the window when this is open so you don't want to delete your operating system right here and you don't want to delete drive C because some of your operating system files are saved on there so you know but anyway um, I need to delete this so I can put that back on HPF now read what this says may just even when you format a new disk it will always say this deleting this volume will erase all data on the disk so if you format something it's going to erase anything anyway but to delete that didn't have anything on there anyway so now that I have oh, 201 megabytes I don't know where that came from but anyway extend volume next and then 200 megabytes next and then finish and there you go now there's no free space left so um, yeah but I hope I taught you something today and that's a good um, thing to do like uh, especially on old computers because the hard drives on old computers they start to slow down after a while and another thing if you notice that your hard drive is loud like y you're always going to hear your hard drive like that little scratchy noise from the head moving back and forth so many times but um if it gets really loud there's not that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with your hard drive unless you hear it like screaming or something like Aah! as long as you don't hear that or like if you hear it clicking like click 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 as long as you don't hear that then you're good but sometimes you're going to hear the little scratchy noises but over time the hard drives get louder and they start to make that noise a little louder, just like the scratchy noise from it loading. I kind of like it. I don't know about you, but, um, you know, if you notice your hard drive, like, starting to squeal, this right here wouldn't cause that, but it's just like a heads up. Then you know that your hard drive, something's wrong with it, you should back up all your data to an external hard drive or a flash drive, whatever you want. Doubt you can put much, yeah, you can't put much on a floppy disk. Only, like, 1.44 megabytes. But, um... I like floppy disks. Disc, discs. <laughs> um, you know, they're durable. Like a CD, you have to worry about it getting scratched. They're one of those Zip 100 discs. You know, um, it holds 100 megabytes. It's only like a quarter of what a CD holds, but they're durable. You can throw them across the room. You don't have to worry about scratching them. You know, the floppy disks and um, Zip 100 drives and stuff like that, I just I think they're cool. But anyway, um, if you notice your hard drive is scratching or, well, no, scratching is fine. Like that little <coughs> noise, that's fine. But as long as you don't hear it screaming or anything like that, then you're good. But um, also, uh, I'm not sure if Windows has a uh, disk checking um, program. I'm not really sure. But um, I know there's things you can download off the internet, but um, I don't know if they're any good or not. But uh, uh, excuse me. But anyway, I hope I taught you something today, and um, please subscribe to my channel and please add me as a friend if you want. And I'll probably be making more programs in the future, uh, videos in the future. And um, by the way, I use Hypercam too. I love this program. It records all my videos. It's cool and, uh, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it. See you later.